friends, good morning. Can you tell I'm not inside my house? This is my backyard. And so on this beautiful, beautiful day, I thought, let's all go out in the backyard. I know Limburg loves to play back here. He's always off and running and he has a great time and he has lots of friends in the forest. It also made me think about the last time we had thoughts that make your heart sing. Do you remember what we talked about? It was about when you open the curtains and the sun comes flooding in your window. Do you have to ask it to do that? No. And I also thought about when you open the door and the fresh air comes wafting in, you take a big breath. Oh, and oh, I think I just saw Limburger run by. Well, maybe we can catch him the next time he comes by. But when you breathe in that beautiful fresh air from the outside, do you have to beg it to come in? No, you don't. And do you know what else? Have you remembered that when God whispers to you, what does he whisper? He whispers, I love you. And it's true. And the wind sings it in the trees and the birds tweet it. They're all saying, God loves you. Limburger came by this morning and he said, you have got to hear the next thought that makes your heart sing because it is a thought that will make your heart sing. And I thought, well, I can hardly wait to hear it. And then he ran off. And he also ran off with a book. So I'm going to see if we can find him around here someplace. But, oh, wait, am I hearing something? Oh, wait, hmm, let me see. Limburger, is that you over there? Oh, here he is. Oh my goodness, he's in the sun. It's so bright. He needs some sunglasses, don't you? Yeah, me too. Well, Limburger, can you show me where that thought is in the book? Can you? All right, good. Um, go, go find the book, all right? Ah, oh, oh, I think he got it. I'm not sure because he sounds like he's putting an awful lot of effort into this. Oh, oh, Limburger, where are you? Are you in there? Are you in there? Oh, let me help you get this out. Okay, uh, and then it's upside down. Ah, there you go, he brought it. That was hard for you to drag. Yeah, but at least we know that you're very strong when you want to be. So, show me where this thought is. It's, is it, oh, it's towards the back of the book? Okay, if anybody has this book, you will enjoy looking at these later as well. Well, this one is, let's see, what's it called? Ah, knowing God. You know, I think you do know, God's world is shining all around us. Yes, the skies, the streams, trees, animals, without needing any words at all, they're telling us God is powerful and wise and beautiful. But they can't tell us everything. They can't tell us the most important thing. They can't tell us about his love, his wonderful, never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. The love that made the stars, that moved heaven and earth to be near us. The love that came down to live with us. No, to really see God's love, we must look at Jesus. And you know how I know that's true? Because in the Bible, in Colossians, it says, Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. 
look at Jesus and you will hear God whispering, I love you. I hope you have a wonderful day full of God's love and full of fresh air and the sunshine that he has brought you and all the beauty in your life.